as you might already know salesforce recently released barcode api and that barcode api can be used in the lightning web component to natively uh, decipher what is the text behind the barcode and uh, at the time of this video recording these are all the barcodes that are supported by barcode api for the lightning web component and the code is very simple i have an html file in the lightning web component i am simply having a button and on the click of that button the javascript method which would be called handle barcode click and if i go on my lightning web component javascript this is the button very simple there is out of the box method get barcode scanner uh, that would be executed and what i am also doing is on the when this lightning web component is loaded on the dom and just say for side i'm calling this method and this is basically coming from uh, lightning mobile capabilities directly that i have included i have imported on the line number 30 so uh, when this is this method is executed it would return uh, basically uh, instance which is a my scanner and it will check the mobile device or any device which is being used for the scanner does that scanner supports the barcodes if yes then i am saying that i would like to support like four barcode types uh, out of all these types those are supported here and then when someone would be clicking on the camera i would like to show a text something like scan a qr upc en13 or code 39 which is i am showing here and on the successful it will show the successful message and then barcode would be on this variable which is a scan barcode variable and this variable i am simply printing here now if you are successfully able to read this text you can do whatever you want to like redirect to the url have some business logic on top of it etc so just quickly show you the demo how it works so i have salesforce app installed on my mobile and as you can see here this is my mobile app right now and this is my barcode flexi page that i have created and i have enabled for my mobile app and i am going to show show you few of the demos of the barcode just to show <coughs> uh, just to explain the hypothesis that how it works so i am generating a qr code and this is the url and you can find all these urls on my source code that i would be posting so this is the url for the qr code generation and this is the uh, sorry this is the url for qr code type that is supported and this is the url for the qr code generation and what I'm doing is I have a, like this lead record. I am copying the whole lead URL and I am generating a QR code for that. As you can see, you can create a QR code for email, text, if you want to call someone, etc. So I'm, I'm going simple link here and I am opening up my mobile phone, clicking on the, as you can see here on the right hand side, I'm saying, okay, begin barcode scan. It will open up my camera and as you can see it is successfully able to read my lead record let's change this and i am saying my text is jitendra jha demo and as you can see barcode got changed again i'm opening up my camera here and okay let me refresh it demo. so it is new barcode it is creating and if i go here as you can see Jitendra demo is appearing here now so this is the QR code let's test if it works for the bar uh, Q, uh, barcode one dimensional barcode QR is kind of the two dimensional so here I would start with UPC E first so if I go here barcode generated public set uh, site and I can say UPC let's say here and these are the let's say number I let's say number is these or wait i think yeah this is there is some format that i have to follow so i will just use this number again i'm opening up my mobile app again i'm scanning it and as you can see it is able to read this number exactly that i have provided here another so we have tested qr code we have tested upc let's quickly test en13 so i'm going to go here en13 and let's say this is the number i have and if i again scan en13 as you can see it is successfully able to scan it and the last one i would like to show is code 39 
and if I go back on code, so basically in EN13 I cannot enter, okay, there's some format, but there is like, uh, okay, let me see which one I said, code 39, if I go on code 39, I can add any text I would, I would okay, so I say, hey, Jit, and now if I scan it, I should be able to see hey, Jit. So as you can see, uh, it's extremely quick demo and out of the box Salesforce so native API, how reliable this API is to scan the barcode. In past, if you see on my uh, blog, you will see that, okay, I have used some JavaScript library, but the problem with the JavaScript library is as it's a third party, there is no guarantee it would work perfectly fine. There is no guarantee about his uh, accuracy, but as this barcode API provided by the Salesforce, Salesforce would take a responsibility to make sure that this API works perfectly to scan either a QR code or the barcode or anything of these supported types.